Greetings all you Starfinders out there, I'm David, the Digital Dungeon Master, and in this particular video, we are going to be taking a look at the Barathu race from the Starfinder Alien Archive. Barathu are the sentient apex of Bertheta's gas giant ecosystem. They are blimp-like creatures, vaguely reminiscent of jellyfish with several unusual evolutionary adaptions. The Barathu have the ability to rewrite their own genetic code instinctively and at will, adjusting their own biology within the crucibles of their own bodies. Barathu culture tends to be easygoing, but hard for some of the other races to understand. Young Barathu, who grow up surrounded by humanoids, are the exception, as they are better able to appreciate the mindsets of creatures around them. Compared to older Barathu, early stage Barathu are more adventurous and individualistic, and their adaptation to the humanoid mindset makes it more difficult for them to merge completely with others of their kind. Most of these early stage Barathu grow out of this phase, gaining the ability to fully integrate with others, yet recent generations have seen more and more Barathu deliberately clinging to their juvenile mindsets. While plenty of Barathu remain discrete entities for most of their lives, the older Barathu, nearing the end of their lives, often merge with massive permanent entities that serve as corporations, governments, or cultural repositories. The Barathu are an interesting alien race for sure. They don't have any legs. They just kind of float around and they're this like pulsating sack of flesh. And I, re I really like the uh, the Barathu. They're, they're definitely interesting. And they have some interesting racial features as well that we're going to get into. So the starting ability scores for the Barathu, you're going to get a plus two wisdom ability score bonus. You're going to get a plus two constitution ability score bonus. And you'll take a minus two to your dexterity ability score. Now the base hit point pool is a little bit higher than most of the other races throughout the Pact Worlds. And your base hit point pool, you'll start with six. Now I think there's one obvious choice here for a class and theme to couple with this race and it should be the mystic class. Now the mystic class is a wisdom ability score based class and your wisdom bonus is going to help you with your spell attack score. It's going to also help you with your saving throw DC. It's going to help you with your mysticism checks. And it's also going to give you a little bit of a bonus, uh, depending on your modifier for wisdom, for your bonus spells that you're going to be able to have. Now, the constitution and the life bonus of six that you're going to get is really going to help your survivability, not from a defensive standpoint, Point because that is going to actually kind of be hampered a little bit by the negative two to your dexterity ability score. But the constitution is going to give you uh, a little bit more stamina points in your stamina pool. And, you know, to make up for that dexterity that you're losing, you can make up one of those if you take the ace pilot or outlaw theme. Uh, so you could do that. Uh, if you need a little bit more constitution, feel free to go with the spacefarer theme, or if you want to go with a little bit more wisdom, uh, then go with the priest theme. So the last piece of advice that I can give you for choosing a class and theme for your Barathu would be to don't worry about min-maxing. Don't worry about not getting that plus two to a certain ability score for the class that you want to play. So if you want to play a strength-based uh, soldier, play it even though you're not going to get the bonus for the Barathu. If you want to play an operative, play it. I mean, it's going to be a little bit harder to make that up because of the minus two uh, to dexterity ability score that you're going to get. But you can choose themes and every five levels, you're going to get ability score improvements anyway to boost your ability scores. So have, not having a two or a minus two is not going to break your character in the long run. Play what you want to play and play something that you are going to have fun playing. So let's take a look at these racial features that you're going to get at level one when you make a Barathu. The first is your creature type. You are going to be considered a medium-sized aberration. Next, your movement. Now, 
The Barathu is going to get a zero land movement because obviously the Barathu does not have any legs, but the Barathu will get a 30 feet per round flying speed with an average maneuverability of two. Now, maneuverability is something new in Starfinder, and how maneuverability works is you have to move X amount of squares before you can turn. So you have to move two squares with the Barathu, then you can turn, and then you can move two more squares, and then you can turn again. So it's gonna take you a little bit of time to maneuver while you're flying in Starfinder. And you can go to page 319 in the Starfinder Core Rulebook to learn more about flying and the maneuverability feature. The Barathu's next racial feature is called Limited Telepathy. This is where you are going to be able to telepathically communicate with any creature that's within 30 feet of you. Now, when you try to communicate with this creature, you need to take into consideration that you have to be able to share the same language so you can telepathically communicate. Now, limited telepathy would work great with social interactions with other NPCs. Maybe you have an audience with a leader of, say, maybe a town or a city, or maybe the audience of a leader of an organization. You could use this mental telepathy to communicate with that leader to try to maybe strike some bargains that everyone else cannot hear. Next, you're going to get Strange Anatomy. This is where you are going to gain a plus two permanent racial bonus to all of your fortitude saving throws. Now your last racial feature for the Barathu is an awesome one. It is called Early Stage Adaption. This is where you are going to be able to use five different mutations on your body. And you'll do this every 1d4 rounds and you'll do it as a swift action. And one of these five mutations will last until the beginning of your next turn. So what are these five mutations? Well, the first one is where you're going to be able to add your strength modifier score onto any of your melee weapon damage. The second is where you're going to be able to harden your shell or harden your natural body armor to where it's going to give you a plus one bonus to your armor class. The next mutation is where you are going to be able to mutate legs because remember, the Barathu does not get any land movement, but with this mutation, you'll be able to basically sprout legs and move up to 15 feet in a single round. Next mutation will be, you'll be able to add two resistance to any one energy choice between acid, cold, electricity, fire, and sonic. So that'll help you a little bit in like resistance situations against creatures that maybe be doing fire damage or sonic damage or something like that. Now the last mutation is a great one as well. And this is where you're going to be able to elongate your limbs, stretch them out, and it will give you a 10 feet attack range instead of the normal five. Wow. So there you go, everybody. That is the Barathu race from the Starfinder Alien Archive. Now, I want to know what you guys think of the Barathu. Do you like all those crazy mutations? And what race and theme would you play with your Barathu? Let me know down in the comments section below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, and I really hope you did, please do me a huge favor, everybody, and give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And by the way, I do have a YouTube channel with 4,000 plus videos with Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition, Starfinder, and Fantasy Grounds. So check them out. Once again, everybody, my name is David, the Digital Dungeon Master, and until next time, happy gaming and keep it safe.